Hiya, Nick from East Coast Fibreglass here with a very quick video on how to make these resin eyeballs. Uh, they're very simple to make, they are just some printed eyeballs encased in some water clear casting resin. So the first thing I needed to do was to uh, print out the eyeballs. This is the mould that I used, we sell this for about £3. And so I measured the size of the small domes, they're about 27 millimetres. After that, I just searched online for some eyeball pictures. This is a great site. All the uh, images are free and royalty free, so you can use them for whatever you want. It's stuckexchanging.com. This is the picture I decided on, so I just saved that to my computer. Then opened up, I'm using fireworks, but you could use any graphics program. And the first thing I did was create an A4 sized document, which is 21 centimeters by 29.7 centimeters. And then I created a document the size that I want the eyeball to be. As you can see, most graphics programs uh, let you work in actual size instead of just pixels, which makes it easy for doing projects like this. Then I opened up my eyeball picture that I downloaded and cut out the part that I want. Then I uh, pasted it into this document. And all I'm using this little document for is just a reference to get the eyeball the right size that I want it on the paper. <coughs> and then I just copy it out of there, paste it in there and paste a few more in as well, ready to print. And then I just printed them out and cut them out. This is the water clear casting resin I'm going to use. And it's Catalyst. Make sure when you're working with these chemicals that you work in a very well ventilated area. They do have a strong odour. Mixing cups and some wooden mixing sticks. And here's me printed eyeballs all ready. A syringe. This uh, resin only uses a very small amount of catalyst, uh, 1%, so you will need a syringe to accurately measure the catalyst. Make sure you wear gloves and eye protection. Pour some resin into the measuring cup. I've poured 50 millilitres in here, and so I'm going to need only 0.5 of a milliliter of catalyst. Then we just need to add the catalyst. Depending on what size kit you buy, you might not be able to fit the syringe into the catalyst bottle. So what I do is just pour a little bit into the lid. The catalyst is the most dangerous part of the, of the whole thing, so be really careful with it. If you spill any, make sure you wipe it up straight away. And uh, as I said before, the personal protection is the most important part. So there we go, that's half a milliliter of catalyst. Squirt that in and then give it a very, very good mix. Once the resin's catalyzed, you do have uh, a fair bit of time to work with it before it starts to uh, go to a jelly sort of consistency. And what I'm going to do is just pour the resin into the mould about halfway up, let that sort of semi-set, then add my printed eyeballs and then backfill. Now that the mould's half filled, I'm going to leave that for about half an hour just to let it semi-cure and go to a tacky jelly-like stage and then I'll come back and finish off. I need to mix up some more resin, exactly the same thing again, 1% catalyst or a 1 to 100 ratio. This is the catalyst bottle that you get with the larger kits, as you can see it makes it a lot easier to measure out the catalyst. Now 
Now this was just normal photo paper that I printed these eyes onto. And what I'm going to do is just paint a little bit of the catalyzed resin onto these printouts. And that'll just help to stop any air bubbles and uh, stop the eyeballs from curling up once they go into the mould. So just paint a little bit of that on and then just pop it in to the half filled mould. And all we need to do is fill up the back of the mould with some more resin. You can pour it in. I found quite a good method is to use a measuring stick like a, a little spoon and just scoop some up and drizzle it in. This same method you can use for any sort of encapsulating photos. You can make paperweights with family photos in or football badges or anything you like. If I just leave this to cure like this, it'll take a very long time and it might remain tacky for a really long time. And that's because the air is getting to the back of the resin there where it's open. So the number one top tip from this video is to use some of this polyester release film. It's really cheap, like a pound or something a metre. And tomorrow, when this is cured, that'll just peel off really easily and it'll leave it completely dry. Here we are, this is the next day. As you can see, this polyester release film just peels straight off. And then the great thing about this resin and these moulds is that there's no release agent needed. It just pops the eyeballs, just or whatever you've made, just pops straight out. And there we go. A really quick and easy way to make resin eyeballs. Quite realistic too. Um, don't forget to come back soon for lots more video tutorials. And um, if you have any questions, please ask. Thanks, bye.